Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, thank you for watching. My name is Shelby, and this channel is strictly, as you can tell, for book reviews. Um, I only have one other video on here so far, but if you want to check that out, it's on the Two Lives of Lydia Bird, and make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you guys are notified whenever I upload a new video. So again, thanks for being here. Um, I'm sorry that this setup isn't really the best setup yet. I'm actually preparing to move in three days. So I've been packing a lot and my room's in shambles and so this is kind of the best I can do. And also this is my first time using this new camera and the microphone so I'm kind of still working out the kinks with that. So without further ado, let's get into this video. And also this is a trigger warning if you have any sensitivities to hearing about sexual violence because that does occur in this book a couple times. I don't recommend that you watch this video or read this book. So that's really all I wanted to say before I got into the review. So the book that I'm going to be reviewing is American Dirt by Janine Cummins. And I was intrigued by this book because I saw it was on Oprah's Book Club for this, for this year. And it was, reading the synopsis of this book, it just sounded very interesting. It is very controversial as it does discuss immigration from Mexico into the United States. It discusses ICE and it discusses the Mexican cartels and how journalism is a very dangerous job down there in Mexico. So I can see why maybe some people would not really want to read this book, but I found it very important to read and maybe in a sense kind of understand these types of things that immigrants from Mexico have to deal with in their daily life that we may not necessarily have to deal with here, hence why they want to immigrate here for a better life. So this book really pulled me in from the very first page. It starts off with the main character, Lydia, and her son, Luca, hiding in a bathroom, and she's telling Luca, you have to stay really quiet, we can't move, we have to stay quiet until these men are gone. And you find out that the cartel has come and attacked her family barbecue. Uh, her husband was a journalist and ended up exposing the leader of this cartel. And so, for retaliation, he comes and sends these people in the cartel and has them kill him and along with 15 other members of Lydia's family. So then after this happens, it's kind of taking you from the journey of Lydia and Luca making their way to the United States and kind of the people they meet along the way, the trials and tribulations that they deal with, along with the people that they meet along the way that they deal with. And it's kind of really leaving you at the edge of, the, at the edge of your seat the entire time. You're just hoping that they're not found by the cartel leader whose name is Javier, and I'll kind of get into how she knows him in a minute. And you're just like, oh, I hope they don't get caught, and I hope they make it to the United States. Their, their plan was to make it to Denver because she said she had an uncle in Denver, and they know that they would be safe there. So Lydia meets Javier because she runs a bookstore. Sorry, I was fixing my shirt. Because she runs a bookstore, and he comes to her bookstore one day uh, starts a conversation with her about books and it's just very friendly, very charming and as their friendship develops he develops feelings for her, says he loves her and she is starting to fall in love with him. Well one day she finds an article that her husband was going to release exposing the leader of this new cartel in Mexico and when she sees the picture she discovers that it's Javier. And so she tells her husband, and he's asking if it should be okay if he releases this article, and she says yes. And what really kind of makes the turning point for why Javier wanted retaliation is Javier had a daughter, and for this article she submitted a poem. And once the poem was released with this article, that's when Javier's daughter, Marta, realized that it's her father that was a cartel leader. She had no idea. And due to all the backlash, she ends up committing suicide. And once Javier finds out about this, that's when he wants to retaliate against Sebastian. Not necessarily against Lydia, but Sebastian. So once this barbecue happens, um, that's kind of really the journey that Lydia and Lucas start. They start off in a hotel, and then they start walking and meeting people along the way. They're jumping on trains, they're sleeping in random places where they don't know if they can really trust anybody, going to churches for sanctuary. And it was just 
a really entertaining book to read. It's almost 400 pages, but I was not bored at all throughout this. There's so much going on. It really kind of exposes how dangerous it is to be a journalist in Mexico. Um, really what immigrants coming from Mexico really have to go through in order to get here. It's a very dangerous journey. It's Some have made multiple attempts. Some have died along the way. And even one of the characters in this book really kind of describes the conditions of being you know, captured by ICE and how it is in the detention centers and just how awful the conditions are and how they were separated from their children or babies were being taken away from their parents and it was just kind of a lot to process for me. Um, I knew it was going on and it's very terrible um, but I think with knowing how much research Janine did while writing this book. It took her four years because of all the research. She was going from Mexico to here to kind of get as much of accurate information as she could, which I really do respect that. And I think this book can really open a lot of people's eyes. And also my grandfather came from Mexico as an immigrant and he ended up serving in the United States Army as a paratrooper. And, you know, he really made a great life here for himself. And so it kind of just made me want to sit down when I go visit him next and talk to him and ask him what his journey like was like coming here to the United States. So it really felt close to home for me reading this. I have never, obviously never personally been through this, but just knowing I have a family member that has and I just can't imagine going through something like this just to have a better life. And it's just really, 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 amazing to read the amazement of human survival and what people will do for them, for their families, and what they'll sacrifice in order to do that. So I would highly recommend this book. Again, if you have any, if you're triggered by suicide, sexual assaults, any type of thing like that, um, I would not recommend reading this book. It might be a very trying thing for you. Um, all I ask is if you do decide to read this book, just please keep an open mind. You may not agree with the immigration process that we have here in America, but put yourself in these characters' shoes and just realize that there are actual people that are doing this, and I just want you guys to have an open heart and an open mind. I just want to say again, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really excited that I got to do this review, and um, I'm kind of going to have a little bit more free time once I do move, and so I'm hoping to be a little bit more consistent with reviews, hopefully every couple weeks or every three weeks. I know it's been about a solid month, a little over, since I did my last review, so I just want to say I appreciate all of your support. Um, I can't wait to see how much my videos improve as we go along, how much more comfortable I get, and how much more structured that I'll feel and I just can't wait to to keep going on this journey so just don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you guys again soon